Hello to all our viewers who love Clash Royale gameplay. You're in the right place because we're back with the top 5 plays of week 3 of CRL West. I just can't get enough of these incredible esport competitors duking it out in the arena. And if you're like me, you should subscribe to Esports Royale and click that notification bell so you can be one of the first to watch our newest videos. The first play we're looking at is this match between Ren and Kava and the God RF. The God RF plays a Skelly Barrel Goblin Barrel combo, and Ren and Kava masterfully ends that push with a perfectly timed Barbarian Barrel and Tornado. Ren and Kava takes no damage, gets a King Tower activation, and plus one elixir from that interaction. He's even got a Barbarian on the counter offensive, and he made it look like he could do it in his sleep. The God RF ends up defeating Ren and Kava, but that doesn't make the play any less amazing. Up next is a 2v2 star flash of Dignitas, but this time he's all alone in a singles match. But don't let that fool you, he's letting everyone know what a diverse talent he is by sweeping Chiva's esports in King of the Hill. P.S. Flash and Kodigo also swept Chiva's esports in the 2v2 set of their match. In the first match on the hill against Richard, Flash plays great defense, using only 6 of his cards on constant defense. And at the end of the match, he plays the Royal Giant and Firebell spell for the first and only time. Using cards like his Barbarian Barrel to distract the Inferno Tower, he decimates Richard's defenses and destroys the tower in a single offensive play. On to our next match highlight. We have Lapokati vs Surge TS, where Lapokati seals the 1v1 victory for Space Station Gaming. In this play, Lapokati plays the perfect Magic Archer that immediately starts accumulating massive value by sniping the E-Wiz and Surge TS's tower. If left unchecked, the Magic Archer would destroy the Night Witch as well. Surge TS is forced to play a Miner to deal with the Magic Archer, but it's too late. Lapokati has already received too much value from his Magic Archer and steamrolls Pain Gaming's tower before Double Elixir has even started. Now let's look at the amazing Igor play against apparently the even more amazing Jupiter King. It's practically a mirror matchup, except Igor has a faster cycle with the Ice Spirit instead of a Prince. The Prince is huge in deciding the match, when during this interaction, he makes a hero dodge from the Ice Spirit and takes out Igor's Ice Wizard. Igor even attempted to play an emergency last second tornado to save his Ice Wizard. Jupiter King takes advantage of this by cycling an Ice Wizard here, and then cycling all the way back to a second Ice Wizard to defend against Igor's push on the right side. With this play, Jupiter King is able to defend much better than Igor and wins the match. And here we go, the last play of today's video is Morden vs IMJP. Morden is playing a Royal Hog 3 Musketeer deck versus one of the ultimate hard counters, Ice Bow. For those who don't know, IMJP is able to easily activate his King Tower with Tornado, which incredibly weakens Royal Hog pushes. Morden also doesn't have any big spells to deal with the Expo, and IMJP can just rocket slash tornado all of Morden's troops. Despite all that, Morden is able to achieve an amazing victory by playing his three musketeers high up near the bridge, eventually overwhelming IMJP. It's a super bold, high level move which ends up paying huge dividends as Morden tears through IMJP's defenses. And those were the top 5 plays from week number 3. The level of competition and 200 IQ gameplay is reaching higher peaks than ever before. What do you think about this week's top 5? Drop a comment below and let us know which one was your favorite. And be sure to subscribe and watch more CRL every weekend starting at 10am pacific time. See you on the next video. Thanks for watching.